Hey everyone, Will here from uh, Flea Market Finance for January 29th, uh, 2019. Uh, haven't had much to show you uh, for the past month. Um, it's uh, just that time of year, not a whole lot uh, around to buy. Um, but uh, got some pretty decent stuff to show you uh, today. Um, kind of a uh, collection of everything I've got the past couple weeks. I uh, haven't been listing a whole lot. Uh, actually, been trying to uh, move some uh, stuff in the store that's been sitting for a long time. Uh, currently doing a 60% off uh, sale in my store. Uh, trying to move uh, move stuff out that's just been sitting there stagnant. Uh, so uh, take a look. Uh, maybe there's something there uh, that you like. Uh, but uh, let me show you what I got here. Uh, I got some artwork, original artwork, always like buying it, especially if it's cheap. Uh, this was 20 bucks. Uh, looks like a uh, watercolor. Um, it's got the person's name on the back, which is always um, helpful. Uh, Louise Harvilla. Watercolor Rusty Lantern original price $150. So we'll see if she's got any uh, other things I've sold. Uh, this is an etching, kind of weird. Um, by uh, Pierre Jac Jacot. Jac Jacot. Um, Interesting piece. Uh, that was 50 bucks. Uh, looked it up, and it should bring somewhere around 200 or so. Didn't know what this was when I first found it, but uh, the uh, tag Le Prince Jardinier. Um, they make high-end garden tools, and this is a very expensive potato digger. Um, uh, six bucks uh, on their website, they go for around fifty dollars. Uh, kind of defeats the purpose of growing your own potatoes if you buy a fifty-dollar shovel to uh, to dig them up with. Uh, you got to buy a lot, <laughs> dig a lot of potatoes to make up for the cost of the shovel. Uh, so only six dollars on that. We'll see uh, what we can get for it. Uh, some card games like the uh, the vintage uh, Whitman Publishing uh, card game. This guy kind of reminds me of He-Man. Uh, the fortune telling cards were pretty good. These were like uh, two and three dollars a piece. Uh, cities, a card game, good vintage stuff. An old uh, latex uh, Goofy or Pluto. Does it say on there? I think it's Pluto. Uh, old Walt Disney. Um, pretty rough shape, but most of these are. Um, from like the 1930s. Paid four dollars. He's missing his tail. I think it's still about a $25 piece. Uh, when he's uh, Victorinox, uh, do it all Swiss Army knives. Um, paid 15 and that's about a uh, $35 knife there. A uh, buck 110. Oh, loud mouth blue jay down there. I threw some peanuts out for the birds. He's going along eating them all up. Um, so, buck 110 and uh, buck dates all their knives. This is in great shape. No scratches on the blade. And uh, if you look, you can see the little slash mark next to the 110 denotes that it is. Uh, that's the mark they used in 1993. So that is a 1993 Buck 110. 
and uh, there are guys that actually collect a buck from every year so very popular knife uh, the children's uh, fork and spoon uh, three dollars piece on those and they have fake light handles um, too bad it's missing a knife uh, there was a knife uh, a three-piece set on Worth Point sold for eighty-five dollars. Uh, moving on, some tens, old tens, Lander, Sweet Pea Talc, another one slightly different. Uh, they were five dollars a piece. Uh, they should bring about twenty-five a piece. A uh, nice piece of Heise glass, perfect condition. Uh, which is what you want your glassware to be anymore in order to sell. It's got the mark of uh, H inside a diamond on the lid, uh, which shows it's uh, Izzy. Uh I'm not a big fan, but there's lots of buyers out there for it. This is a uh, Bradford Exchange. Um, it's got cats, it's got angels, somebody's going to love that. A uh, little trinket dish, uh, Newhall, Staffordshire, England, Sari Gant, must be a uh, character in a story. Um, so uh, do a little research on that. Uh, a couple of eye baths, they were five dollars for the pair. It's still in the original box. I love anything still in the original box. My wife got herself a nice porcelain vase uh, with butterflies. Uh, that was ten. The cat's pretty cool. Uh, got it for fifteen dollars, and there's a number inside. When I look up the number, twelve forty-eight. Turns out this is made by Hubley, a uh, nice collectible uh, cast iron company. Um, somewhere around, should bring somewhere around $60 or so. Cigar cutters, look like they've never been used. Uh, made in Germany, uh, for a piece. Dolly the Dolphin, battery operated uh, toy, uh, seven on that, mainly because it had the, same, had the original box. Little cuckoo clock, wind up, made by um, Keebler Clock Company. Don't know if it works. We'll try to uh, get a little key in there and wind it up, see what happens. Um, some freshwater pearls and 14 karat gold, $9 on that. Uh, the boots are cool. They've definitely seen better days. These are salesman samples. Uh, candy, C-A-N-D-E-E, -E. Uh, four dollars for the pair. Hippo's neat. It's got a real old look to it. Um, it's part of a library collection. Um, not too old. Uh, it's got a date on it, 1953, 63 looks like Neat elephant uh, hippo though another hippo. Uh, this is a MMA uh, Metropolitan Museum of Art uh, MMA stuff uh, It sells good for me. They must have the biggest gift shop you've ever seen at a museum because the variety of stuff they have is unbelievable A uh, little Wayne the Pooh and Piglet uh, pillow um, Poo stuff always does well. People are always, uh, you know, my friend of Blue Jay is back. Um, people are always uh, decorating nurseries with Winnie the Pooh. Uh, some uh, perfume, three bucks on that. Powder, five bucks on that. Bluegrass dusting powder, looks pretty old, five on that. Uh, the pen is sterling. Um, that was like uh, eight on that. 
really big compact. It's missing, uh, losing a lot of its uh, powder. Uh, only four dollars on that. Love the compact here. Uh, Cody. Um, really cool piece. Only two dollars on that. This one was just a few dollars. This is our price that we're going to ask on it. Um, from the 1940s, we paid two dollars. Going to put it on for 75. Another one we're going to put put on for 125. That was just a few dollars. Uh, bolo ties. <laughs> I, I really, I don't know who buys bolo ties because I, I think I can count on one hand how many I've sold over the past couple years. But I couldn't pass this one up. It's a pretty cool uh, snake. Looks like a turquoise eye. That uh, was uh, like four dollars. Pair of uh, sterling amethyst uh, earrings, uh, four bucks. Some uh, baking tins. Uh, that was like three dollars. Loved a little cast iron fry pan, five bucks. We have to look up the number. Small fry. It's called. Um, maybe uh, clean that up a little bit. Couple of uh, Asian theme um, flower pots. My wife liked really nice detail. Uh, well done. Um, unmarked. Nice that they put a uh, drain hole in there. Uh, Fifteen for the pair. Solid brass uh, door knocker. Uh, eight dollars on that not sure what we'll get but uh, it's got the thing you you hit against a couple snap-on pieces uh, that was uh, uh, eight dollars for the pair break little breaker bar and extension uh, the fish are carved out of wood really well done pieces Ten a piece on them, couldn't pass them up. Love the birds. Uh, from probably from the 30s, 40s, maybe 50s. But uh, made out of plaster. Uh, love that they're a set and that they've survived all these years in almost perfect shape. Not quite sure what they're supposed to. What you're supposed to put in the uh, in the little dish, but uh, maybe a little plant or just a catch-all. Um, but these things are so so neat. Uh, paid 15 for the pair, and I'm gonna go high because you might find one, you might find another, but to have a match pair, um, it's gotta be pretty rare. Um, Probably go like 150 for the pair of these. Um, I like them myself. Uh, I was hating it. the girl lost an arm. Looks like a long time ago because it's a lot of dirt and everything down in there. But what a great piece. Um, she is supposed to be holding. This is the top to an incense burner. And uh, her other arm comes up and holds the incense burner. But it, great piece. And it's marked under here. Van Van Tines. Made in France. Just a great, you can see from the headdress, uh, call it 1920s Egyptian Revival. Something along those lines. If she had her arm... I'm thinking easy, uh, if she was in perfect shape, easy $300. Uh, missing the arm, uh, 50 bucks. I paid 10. Um, but uh, cool piece. Uh, a few cool pieces, actually. Uh, so keep an eye on my store, Terminal 99. Uh, we'll be listing these things for auction. If I don't get suspended again. Um, so until next time, this is Will Yard Sales Fivelist, we'll talk again soon.